Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing The Bath House. Now, this is a brand new game from Chiller's Art, who previously made stuff like The Convenience Store, The Caretaker, and a game we played earlier in the year on the channel, The Closing Shift. Their games are always pretty weird, but they're also pretty scary and full of neat ideas. So we're going to dive into this today. I know nothing about it. It's literally just come out. So let's dive into The Bath House and see what this game is all about. What the heck is this? It's like a guy whipping something. What's he whipping? Is he whipping the floor? I'm tired of working at the company. I need to quit the job and it's not healthy. Quit and go to the countryside. But I don't have that kind of money. Ugh, what a mess. Oh, a flyer. Hmm. This is it. Rent is free if you work at the bathhouse. Oh, so we're going to be working at the bathhouse. I thought we maybe were like going to be going to the bathhouse as a customer or something. I'll call them now. Let's move out. So we're going to go to a an apartment where we're going to be working at the bathhouse. Akamura Mena is our character's name. Room 203. Got to bring my stuff first. Ah, so we've got to pick up these boxes. Nice. We've got the boxes. This is the street we're going to be living on. Our new home, and this is our apartment, I'm assuming. Who's this guy? Hello? He's just like, yo, G, what's up? I don't think we can talk to him or anything. What's he doing? Oh, he's just lit a cigarette. Okay, well, I'll let you enjoy that. Um, I'm going to stand back because I don't want secondhand smoke. Let's go upstairs. And move into our apartment, I guess. Here it is, 203. What the heck is that? Who is this? That is weird. That is a weird looking guy. It's our landlord. He says, you stink. You should take a bath. After you've done moving your stuff, come meet me at the local bathhouse. There's a thing I want to tell you. Here. This is the key to your apartment. Welcome to town. What the heck? Man, this is weird. Look at him. He looks like a... A freaking toad or something. It's a weird looking guy right there. Well, thanks for the key, man. Um, I guess we head inside. Head into the apartment, yes. Alright, we're in. It's not a very nice looking apartment. Look how filthy this looks. It's going to need a bit of uh, spit and polish to get it into a livable state, I think. This is our bed. It's literally just a sheet on the floor. There's not even like a mattress underneath it. And what's that, a box of tissues or something? Can I interact with that? No? What do we do with this? Oh, put our boxes down. Cool. There we go. The boxes have been laid down. What's this? Pull it out. All right. I just pulled something out. I don't know what that was. I guess we just, like, leave now then. Exit the apartment, yes. Dropped off the boxes. It's time to go to the bathhouse next. So how do we do that? Head downstairs? Right, where's the bathhouse? Is this it? Nope, that's just a toilet. A wanted poster. Wait, that looks like the guy out there a little bit. Yeah, with a cap on. Okay, so he's maybe dangerous. I'm going to keep a bit of a distance from you, my friend. Let's just head down the main strip and... See if we can find this bathhouse. Is this it? No? Okay. What the heck is that sound? I'm going to investigate. Wait, who's this? It's like a, a monk? Yeah. Look who we have here. The new one, I presume. We welcome you with open arms. And he smiles. You're working hard to get the bathhouse running again. I heard. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And besides, I sense a presence following you around. I strongly, strongly recommend that you get blessed here at my temple. Do we get blessed, guys? I guess so. You are one obedient child. The gods are happy to hear that from you. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, what the heck are you doing? Unhand me. There, you are protected. For now. Maybe we should always, uh, you know, 
do a little prayer at the shrine. Please come by any time. Maybe it'll protect us any time you feel uh, strange. The next time you come, you must bring me an offering. A monetary offering. Or the gods will abandon you. Great. Thanks, man. So basically you scammed us. You know, every time we come by, we have to pay him money to keep being protected. So it's one big scam. Fine. I, I, I am superstitious, so... I'll go along with this. I don't know if we can do anything else here. I heard a, a kind of a whimpering sound though, like a dog in pain. Where does this go? Look. Oh, it's a kappa demon. I think that's what that's called anyway. The um, like turtle things that live under the water. Don't want to go in the water if there's a kappa demon in there though. Ooh, a fishing mini game. Use the fishing rod. Look at this. This is cool. Wait, did I catch something? What is this? A sack. Can I, um, do anything with a sack? Alright guys, well we're gonna go because I can't do anything more around here, but we do have a sack that we just caught from the lake, so that's, uh, interesting. Let's head to the bathhouse then. Where is it? Here? Is this the bathhouse? What the heck? Yeah, this is the bathhouse for sure. Right, so, uh, we need to find the guy, I think. Oh, he's on the other side. Here he is. The weird guy, the toad man. Ah, so you came. Welcome, welcome. You've seen the flyer, right? No need to pay the rent. You work at the bathhouse, so no rent. Oh, and, uh, there's no shower in your room, so you'll have no choice. If you work here, you can use the bath at the end of every shift. Sounds like a deal, huh? Uh, do I have a choice? No. Alright, now. Let's get started right now. See here? Please do all the tasks written on this board. If you have any questions, keep it to yourself. It's not a very good boss. <laughs> kind of sucks. It isn't very difficult to run a bathhouse, so good luck. Okay. What the heck? Get out of my face, bro. Customers are coming. Alright, so this guy needs a razor, a towel, and then he needs to pay. So here's a towel for you, my friend. A razor. Alright, be careful with that. And then he needs to be paid, so how do we do that? Oh, put the money in. Take it. Put it in there. Wow, this is really easy. This is much easier than um, the last Chiller's Art game, which was the closing shift where you had to make all these coffees up, you know? A 29-year-old woman has been missing from village for the past week. Alright, I'm gonna just sort this. What the heck? Is it this woman? She's really freaky looking. Here you go. Uh, put money in there. Okay, so it says, A 29-year-old woman has been missing from the village for the past week. The missing person is a 29-year-old resident. According to police, she has been missing since she spoke with a woman in her 60s who lives nearby. I think I'll just read these messages once they've played out in full. But yeah, it could be that woman we just saw that went off, as I said. Uh, I guess I'll take a nap for now. Maybe we shouldn't take a nap, though. Maybe we should stay awake. I don't know. What the heck? Yeah, I don't think we should have taken a nap, you know? <laughs> I think that maybe was a mistake. Let's go and check the noise out. What the heck is going on in here? What, is there an eel in there or something, my guy? Oh, what was that? I saw something in the sauna room. Could you go check it out for me? You look like a big strong guy. You shouldn't be so scared. But I guess I'll go and check. Where is the sauna room? Is it? Is this it? That's the boiler room. This is the sauna room. Uh, there's nothing in here. It's fine. Was there anything? I swear I saw something. This place is giving me the creeps. I'm out of here. Alright, go on. You look like you're in the Yakuza or something. Well, you don't have the tattoos, but apart from that, big guy like you. Uh, well, I'm just going to leave it. I like the look of the water. They've actually captured the feel of a bathhouse pretty well. So, kudos. Oh, we need to get back in our booth. How do we do this? Has he just left? Uh, I don't know. Let's go and check out the woman. Kayo, a girl like you. It's perfect for the offering. What the heck? What do you mean is perfect for the offering? 
Right, I'm going to go and check this side of the bathhouse. This is obviously for the women, this side, and the other side's for the men. Oh, what the heck is that? Is that dirt or blood? I don't know. Do we have to mop up now? Is that, like, the next thing we've got to do? Like, clean up? Oh, what's this? We got a broom. Ah, so, yeah, maybe we clean up now. Let's go back and clean up those stains that might be blood or might just be... Well, ink, maybe? I don't know. Oh, okay. We've got to move the mouse back and forth to clean up. It's actually kind of uh, intuitive little control scheme there. Nice. It's kind of fun. Just cleaning up where everybody's been sat and washed their dirt off. If you're this dirty, I've got to question what you've been doing, you know? Have you been working in a coal mine or something? Nobody should be that dirty. If you are, you haven't taken a bath in far too long. Uh, here's the sauna. Don't want to spend too long in there. Right, so we've done the ladies' room. Now let's go and clean up the gents. Yeah, there's some dirt in here, that's for sure. Those dirty men clean up their dirt and muck. There we go. The last one is here. Cool. Work's done. Let's take a bath. All right. So where's the bath? Is this like... Is this the bath? Oh, we got to go to the ladies. I keep forgetting we're playing as a woman. So I probably can't go in the men's section. You know, just in case someone were to walk in. Is this it? Take a shower. Yes. Nice. So how do we do this? Hot and cold. Ah, nice hot water. I don't want cold water. Wait, what's that? Don't sneak up on us when we're in the nude. That's not cool. Alright, are we done? What's that sound? Guys, we can't move, by the way. Just so you know. What is that? I don't like it. Oh, what the heck? A monkey? That is really weird. Why would there be a monkey in a bathhouse? I think this game is set in Japan, so I guess there could be monkeys about. Wait, what the heck is that? Is that like an arm? Or is that is that a person? That's got to be the ghost, right? That's why the monkey was freaking out. But again, I don't know why there's a monkey here to begin with. This game's already delivering weird vibes, guys, and I'm here for it. Again, we're on day two, playing as Akimura. I think that's her name, and there's her underwear and her bra hanging up. Because there's literally nowhere else to put it apart from, like, hanging little cords across the room. Can I check this out? Pull it out. I don't know what we keep pulling out. Is it, like, sludge that's just seeping through? Maybe. Maybe this leads to a bad ending or something if we keep pulling it out. Look, we've got a little meal deal here. A little tub of ice cream, a sandwich... I don't know what that is. Maybe some uh, painkillers? I guess we just go to work. Do we need to take our clothes or do we just leave them there? Let's head out to work. Exit the apartment. Yes. Oh, I just remembered that the guy said uh, we need to offer a monetary, like, payment to the gods every day. Maybe we're meant to take money from the bathhouse and, you know, not put it in um, the money box and just put it into the, you know, the monk's purse, essentially. I don't know. I will go and see the monk just to see what's up, you know, and do the fishing mini game again. Hello, my friend. Now, if you need more help, hmm, head over to the offertory box and offer a prayer. All right. Can I offer a prayer? I'm guessing this is it, right? Wait, what is this? Oh. Can we hang the sack on this? I think we can. What the heck? I think we just used the sack. Yeah, we used the sack and we hung all of these up here. Interesting. Let's head off to work and do day two of the bathhouse. Who is this? Got a guy praying with some flowers. Someone must have died here. Doesn't want to talk. I assume it's a guy. It could be a woman. Don't know. 
Doesn't really matter, does it? Let's go to work. Where's our boss? He's not here. Customers are coming, so let's head to work. Clean stains on walls and find out why the electricity bills are rising. That's the mission to do after work today. Right, do you want a towel? Here you go, my friend. He's called Keichi, and he says, Hey, uh, bring me a drink in 15 minutes. Got it? Uh, sure. I'll take your money. So you have to put the money in there. Doesn't seem like I can actually take the money to, you know, to pay the monk, so we have to be honest. He said in 15 minutes he wants a drink. What's the time now, though? Uh, Denko says, I'm just here to find my earring that I dropped. Jeez. Oi, don't just walk in. I didn't give you permission. You probably took a, a full bath, didn't you? <laughs> that's, why the, that's why the electricity bill's going down, because we've got this person going through. Wait. Who's this? Hello, you can come in. It's a mysterious girl. Maybe it's the girl that went missing. Well, she's gone now. Okay. I don't think I can leave here once I'm in. Strange. Okay, cool. Um, so what do we do? Just chill? It's been about 15 minutes. Gotta get the man a drink. Ah, okay, so we were meant to sleep. Cool. Right, let's get him the drink then. What drink do you want? This one? Looks fine to me. And in we go. Here's your drink, sir. Enjoy. Good girl. Now listen. Why do you work here? I have no choice. You always have a choice. You want to work for me? A girl like you could easily make a thousand times what you make now. This guy's like a pimp or something, man, running like a hostess bar, I reckon. What do you think? Let's not waste your precious life here. Uh, nah, I'm not interested. I would have said that anyway. This guy's scummy. Pathetic. You think you're more than you're actually worth? See, this is what happens with guys like this. They always, like, big you up. Or big women up, I should say, you know, come and work for me. And then, like, you see, as soon as you turn them down, they're just like, you're trash. Better be careful, I'm being nice here. If it wasn't me, you really will have no choice. I think the translation's a bit iffy there. <laughs> I didn't really understand what he meant. I think he means if we weren't here in the bathhouse, you wouldn't have any choice. So he's a bit of a, yeah, crazy guy, I think. We better keep away from him. Now, he's gone off. Doesn't seem to be anything weird happening right now, so we'll leave. He's just put his clothes on, and he's out. Right, do we go back to work? I actually want to check on the other side and see if that person did leave, you know, who said they were just picking up their earring. I don't seem to be in here. Oh, what the heck? Oh no, the lights are off. Got to figure out a way to get it working again. See... Now, it seems like it would be a good time to maybe go to the boiler room. Maybe there's an electric box down there. I kind of wish we had a flashlight, though. It's so dark. Man, it really is dark as well. Okay, let's just stay calm. And enter the boiler room, yes. Don't know if this is the right thing to do. Man, it's so quiet. I know a jump scare's coming what is this? The lid is locked. It'll only open when the water is drained out. But the drain tube is missing. Okay. We need to find a drain tube if we want to drain this. Man, I, what the heck? There's like chains hanging down here. What kind of place is this? I don't even know how to get out now, man. I can't see. So, I don't think we need to be in the boiler room yet, but it was good to go in there just to check, you know, uh, what kind of place that is and what things there are in there. Seems like we can do stuff uh, at a later date there. Oh, what is this building? This is very bright. Maybe this is the power. We've got some cables actually running from the bathhouse across the street, so let's check this out. <gasps> yes, look, a power box. Can't get into it, though. Hmm. So we need to find a way to open the power box. Oh, enter the appliance store. Yes. Okay, we enter it. Okay. So let's have a look. What are we doing in the appliance store? We got a guy over here. Or a woman, I think, maybe. I don't know. Oh, electric box key. What do you think you're doing? 
It's from Denko. Um, just taking the key. Maybe, ah, maybe we need to cause a distraction. Because Denko isn't allowing us to pick up the key. You don't look like the type who can afford things. These appliances, they are my babies. Feel free to take a look. Just one thing. Absolutely no bartering. You hear me? Alright, well don't judge a book by its cover. Um, I need that key, so I need to maybe cause a distraction somehow. What could we do? Oh, fire alarm. It's a fire alarm, press it, yes. He's gonna run over. What are you doing? It was an accident, idiot. Now, let's pick up the key. We got the key, now let's book it. Exit, yes. Puzzle solved, guys, we're flying through this game. Now, let's see if we can use this over here. And pull the lever. And huzzah, the bathhouse springs back into life. I want to check out these flowers now as well. Like, I don't know who they're for. Maybe that missing girl? Okay, right. Let's check our objectives. It says, find out why electric bills are rising, which we did. Solved that one. And now clean the stains on the wall. So we need the cleaning products. We have the cleaning products. Now it's time to clean up. And once again, we've got these weird stains. I think they're meant to just be dirt stains, but they look very, very strange. Here's another. Clean, 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 clean. Right, is that everything? I think that's everything in this room. Now we need to go to the ladies and clean that side. Wait, what the heck is that? It's like, um... It's like a little girl. A stain mark in the shape of a little girl. Do we clean it, though? Works done, take a bath. Wait... The stain's not gone, though. That's really freaky. Well, please don't come to life because we're going to take a shower and we're vulnerable when we're taking a shower. Right. Nice hot water on me. Hey, nice. Wash our hair. Wait, I can hear somebody. It's like whispering. Did we pass out? Did I use too much hot water? Wait, what the heck? Take a bath? Yeah, I guess so. Hopefully nothing's in the water, like a kappa demon or whatever. Oh my god, what the heck is that? That looks like a ghost woman. She's gone now. Anyone else? There's the little silhouette of that woman there. Can I leave? Oh my god, what the heck? There's something in. Sitting in the freaking water. Let's get out. Let me out. Man, what was that? We're sitting in the men's section, I think, guys. Alright, we're going to have to go and check this out. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, but I need to see what it is. To put my mind at ease. Hopefully it's just a shower that's, you know, leaky faucet or something. Yeah, it is. Alright, turn it off. Someone's just been messing with us, turning all these faucets on. What the heck? Is that in the boiler room? I think it is. Um, Do we investigate? We've closed it all off. We're like, nobody go in there, you know? Wait a second. Or did... Or did our character die? I don't know. Who is that? Is that the monk? Or is that the person from the electric store? Tenko or Denko, whatever it was called. No, we're still alive. Day three, we're still playing as Akamura. She's hang hanging more of her underwear up now. You'd think she'd like take down some of the old stuff now. I mean, surely it's dry, but never mind. Right, do we pull this weird... I think it's meant to be hair. Pull it out. Yeah, we keep pulling that hair out. I feel like this is leading us to a bad ending if we keep pulling the hair out. Like it's exposing us to the ghost some more. And that's probably the ghost of that missing girl we heard about on the radio. But you know what? We'll just keep going with it. We've committed now. Okay, let's go to work. Anyone down here? Always like to check around just in case there's anybody hanging about. 
I wonder if that guy is back as well, that weird guy. The smoking guy, this guy. He's nowhere to be seen. What is this? Missing cat poster. The candy store cat. Okay. Candy store is over here. Can we go in the candy store? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, what is this? We've got a lock here. And, oh, that looks like the tubing we need for the boiler room. Trash area. What's that down there in the trash? I think we need the trash to be moved, maybe, to be able to, like, get this thing. And we can't actually grab that. We need a key. We should be able to just jump over, but the game's not letting us. Oh, the monkey's dead. Look. Poor monkey. Look, this is closed now. Customers are coming. Okay. Who's coming? The jukebox is on. We've got music playing. It's time for another beautiful day at work. We've got two old women here. Chio again. Give me shampoo. All right. Well, you're very demanding, but fair enough. Shampoo for you. A towel. Um, another towel you want. And you've paid. Yeah. Beautiful. Go on, ladies. Go through. Is that the new girl? Why, yes it is. I hope you have a pleasant stay. I didn't like the look in her eyes. What? Alright, well I take that back. Have a bad day. I hope you slip. Right. What are we doing? Just waiting? Our mission today is to remove the rust from the shower heads. And something else that I didn't read. Chilatik's Believer says, Chilapin! Hey, you there! Why have a gone face? You need help? But you're all right now. You are loved by Chillatakes. The fact that you're here with me is proof of that. I give you this, the spirit of Chillatakes. Keep it with you and you'll be full of vitality. Chillatakes? Chillapin? Chillatakes is always with us. I might be pronouncing this wrong. I apologize if I am. Some call him God, but properly we call him Chillatakes. I see. I guess I'll take it. Ah, oh, a little chinchilla. Well then, that'll be 100,000 yen. Screw that. What? I don't have that kind of money. Tsk. Ah, oh, Chilabin. Careful, girl, before Chilateeks abandons you. Chilabin, Chilabin. Alright, I have no idea what you mean. I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't even want a bath. Okay, just leave then, I guess. Uh, that was very strange. Oh, we got a phone call. Hello? This is from an unknown caller, and they say eight, one, two. What was that? Eight, one, two. Oh, we've changed now to a different date. Or is this just for time, eight o'clock? Eight, one, two, eight, one, two. We need to remember that. A girl like you, so perfect for the offering. She said that last time. I don't like keep. The way they keep saying that we're perfect for the offering. We've seen this ghost, you know. It's kind of freaking me out. That's all for today. Let's see. On the list is... It says to get the baking soda from the local candy store. Why the candy store? Huh. Alright, guys. So we have to get baking soda first from the local candy store. I guess maybe to remove the rust from the shower heads? So let's go and do that. So we're going to go to the candy store. Wait, who is this guy? Oh, it's that weird guy that's on the wanted poster. Hey, hey! And nice to meet you. He's called Amor Jiro, I think. Yeah, you want a potato? Uh, sure, I'd like one. Thank you for considering. However, we have a policy of asking a few potato questions to give you the right one to eat. Ah, oh, that's kind of sweet. Where do sweet potatoes grow? Um, in the dirt, I think. Correct. When do you harvest them? Um, I think... In the winter, maybe? Wrong. No, 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 no. You are not only a disgrace to all potato eaters of the world, but also to the, world, the whole human race. It's probably the spring, right? I'm going to try again. Okay, so where do we harvest them? Let's try autumn. 
Correct. Nice. Do sweet potatoes bloom flowers? Um, I don't think so. Wrong. Oh, they do. Wow. I never knew that. That's actually kind of interesting. I love sweet potatoes. But I didn't know they bloomed flowers. All right. So this time we say, yes, they bloom flowers. What do they look like? Um, oh, man. I have no idea. I didn't even know they did bloom flowers. I guess... Okay, we got it right that time. We said morning glory. You seem to know your potatoes very well. Now for the final question. What is the best way to eat sweet potato? Well, that's subjective, surely, right? Um, stone baked, microwave, boiled or fried in oil. I'll say stone baked. Well, well. You have proven worthy to my cream of a crop potatoes. Here it is. Enjoy it. But don't eat too fast. Savor it. Oh, nice. We got a uh, sweet potato. Thanks, my guy. Look at his little potato truck. It's a little cart. Have a nice day. Thanks for the potato. Let's go and check out this candy store. Do we need baking soda from a candy store? Let's have a look. Ooh, who's this? She looks really weird, man. Like, her eyes even working? Young lady, this is Yumeki. You have beautiful eyes. Mind if I take a closer look? Uh, no, sure, have a look. Now, now. No need to be scared. I'm only complimenting you. Oh! I thought I meant no, don't, I don't mind. But obviously, <laughs> it meant no, don't take a look. Oh, here she goes, she's doing it anyway. And she just cackles. Alright. You're kind of sus to me, but never mind. We need baking soda. Let's have a look. I have no idea where baking soda even is, guys. Maybe we just ask her for it. The missing cat poster. Let's ask her about that. Tamachan? If you find her, I can give you a special gift. Who's this? Wait, actually, I think this is the weird guy that we were talking about. Oh. I can hear a cat. He's just taking a leak. I'll go in here. Here's the cat! We got her! Oh, so cute! Okay. Oh my god, the guy's gone. He was really fast about it as well. Like, did he even have time to shake and zip? I don't know. Definitely didn't have time to wash his hands. Anyway, we're going to take this cat back. I don't want anything bad to happen to the cat. I'm a big fan of cats. Don't want it to end up like that monkey over there. So here we go. The candy store cat is returned to its owner, pretty much. Uh, is this your cat? Tamashan, welcome back. Thank you, young man. Now for the gift. Wait, was I meant to be a lady, right? A young lady. Oh, never mind. I made it especially for you. Take good care of it, will you? Chuckle. All right, what is this? Oh, it's a Japanese doll and a key. Man, that is freaky looking. Look at that thing. Thanks for the doll, I guess. Okay, let's see if we can use the key on this chest over here now. Yes, and here's the baking soda. Nice, so now we can go and clean up the place. Remove the rust from the shower heads. Ah, okay, yes, we use the baking soda on the shower heads. Here we go. Nice, that's all clean. So one over here that needs to be cleaned. This one does. Oh, you can kind of see it's like smoking for some reason. <laughs> There's so much grime on it. Maybe it's just the smell, right? That's all cleaned. Work's done. Let's take a bath. Now this time, let's hope that nothing tries to get us while we're in the bath. Take the shower, yes. Okay. No one there, apart from that weird thing. Right, let's go. Let's get that hot water on us. Imagine how creepy it would be if we saw like a reflection in the mirror. Wait. That lasted like two seconds. Can I have some more water, please? I'll try the cold. Neither's working. Okay. So the water stopped like running again. I don't see anyone. Come on, work. Damn it. Wait, what's that noise? Guys, I think I just heard something. 
We're passing out. Take a sauna. Okay, I didn't see anything there, and I don't know if I was meant to. Don't you take the sauna first and then the shower? That's what I've always done anyway. Got the ladle, so I guess we, we need to put some water on that, right? There we go, and now we can take the sauna. Yes, let's take a sauna. I love a sauna. I haven't had many in my lifetime, but when I have, it's felt really good. Wait, what is that? That's a lot louder than normal. Can I check that out? Guys, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Something's coming for us. I don't like it. What do we do? Oh my god! That was horrible. What the hell? That actually really scared me. She was just there. We get a good look at the ghost now, I guess. That's something for the thumbnail. Wait, where are we now? Is that just like a shot of the street randomly? I'm, this game does confuse me a little bit. Sometimes it's a bit like random and like sporadic. Oh, who's this? That's that person in the, the raincoat that was putting the flowers down outside the bathhouse. I think someone's died in the bathhouse. Probably the woman that's haunting us now, right? And it's the same one that was referenced on the radio at the start. It's day four now. And also, I think that the woman who keeps the old woman that keeps coming in and saying to us, like, oh, you'll do well for the offering. I think she's maybe behind the death of the uh, woman that's haunting us. That's my theory currently. Okay, so not hanging up as much of our clothes today. Man, that hair's getting longer by the day as well. Let's pull it out, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, that made a sound that time. You just stay in the wall. Sorry to have bothered you. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. Exit the apartment, yes. Oh, it's raining today. Look at this. Got ourselves a storm. It's Matsuno, and he's sobbing. This is the only picture I have of her. <laughs> Who is the girl in the picture? She's my granddaughter. She... She, what, died in the bathhouse? Oh, he doesn't want to tell us. He's just grieving there. I'm going to let him alone, you know. Just let him be. I also want to know what the heck this doll does. Maybe we show this to the old guy. You want the doll? It's really creepy. I don't know what we do with this doll. This cursed thing. Oh, we threw it in the trash. Man. Do we want to put the doll in the trash, though? Maybe I throw it in the trash. I don't know, guys. This could be, like, my undoing here. Now let's go in here and start the job. It's eerily quiet. Hey, we got a customer. I'm glad to see you. Shampoo. Body soap. Towel. Okay. Body soap. Here you go. Shampoo. Here you go. Towel. Take your money into the box. And free you go. Off she goes. She's got her kid with her. Skin changed over there. Fair enough. Um, we need to unclog the drains today and refill toilet paper. It's a quiet day, to be honest. Haven't had any more customers. Oh, who's this? Wait, is that the little child just running away? Oh, they're going to the boys' the men's section. That's fair enough. I think they look like a little boy anyway. Shout out to mother. Hey, your child is crying. And Michi's being quiet. You okay? Shatoro says, my hand, someone help me. What's going on? Can I, can I help you? Um, do I have anything in my possession that I can help you with? I can give you a potato. I'll try and get a towel for you. He's just crying. It's really disturbing. Okay, I'm going to go to the mother. Offer her the potato. <laughs> where did she go? Yeah, where did she go? We've got first aid kit, so let's go and use this on the kid. Try and help their hand. My hand! <laughs> it's all right, little guy. Uh, someone help me. Yeah, you're all good, right? Uh, it still hurts. Ah, uh, my mother, she forced my hand in the fan. What the heck? That's not normal. And here's the mother. 
What did you do? Says Michi. I can't believe you hurt my son. I didn't hurt your son. Literally, he came to me. I'm never coming back here ever again. Maybe we did hurt the son and we just don't realize it. This is very peculiar, guys. I have no idea what's happening anymore. Oh. Okay, the shift is over. Shifts are very short in this game. Who's there? It's Fute says, ah, easy there. Thank God someone came. I've run out of toilet paper. Could you bring me some? Uh, you're a guy, why are you in the woman's? Uh, I just made a mistake. I really needed to go. Haha. <laughs> Could you just bring me some papers, thanks? All right, I know that guy. He's the guy I said should be in the Yakuza because he's a big guy. Not advocating for anyone to join the Yakuza though. So don't get the wrong impression. Now let's give him this paper. You saved my life. Oh, it's very dry now. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, there we go. That's a bit graphic. Oh my God. All right, that's a bit close, my guy. You close the door for God's sake. Disgusting. All right, now I need to clean up. I still want to know if we can go in that boiler room, you know? Oh, I can actually see now. First time I came in here, I couldn't see anything. So that's locked and it's got tape all over the door. What is that? It's a little crack on the floor. I wonder if there's like a key in here that we can use for that place outside. Yes, yeah, so we need to try and drain somehow the bath and I reckon we'll find the body or something in there if we do that. So I honestly don't know what we're meant to do. I think this is like one of those games where I might have to do a second video where I like figure out what it is we have to do with all these things and then maybe like we can finally get the tubing to fix the boiler. I just don't know guys. That's locked still. On my first playthrough I'm just going to enjoy the game and whatever happens happens. Now we've got the drain cleaner, let's go and clean the drains. Look at that smelly drain. Clean it good and proper. I do enjoy this game more than the last one from Chiller's Art, which was, uh, I think, the closing shift. Because that one got a bit complicated with all the coffee orders. Whereas this one's a bit sim more simple. I can just enjoy the game and, you know, do the little tasks. And it's almost relaxing if it wasn't like a ghost after us, you know? Okay, bath time then. Uh, let's take our pew. Take the shower, yes. What horrible thing is going to happen tonight, I wonder, while we take a shower? Oh my god, there's something there already. Look, the woman is already there. That's really weird. Oh god. Do we check it out? Look into it. I don't think I should be doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. She's probably going to emerge and like attack us. Oh my god. It's like the dead body in there. Oh, okay. Right. So we've been sucked into the, like, I don't know, world of the dead or something. What the heck? Look at this thing. What do I do? Do I run? Do I hide in here? Guys, is she coming for me? What do I do? She's coming for me. What do I do? 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 I don't think we go that way. Screw that. Okay. I'm closing that. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, this is locked. We've got hair in the way. Okay. Um. What do I do then? Sauna? No? That's locked with hair as well. Okay, I have no idea what we do, guys. No, she got us! She got us! What the heck? That's really freaky. Am I dead? Guys, I don't know what to do. I think we died. Missing person. So I think, yeah, I think we might have died, guys. I don't know if that was meant to happen. Uh, but it says Maina Akamura is a missing person, so we've obviously been, like, destroyed by that ghost. It's claimed us. My sister hasn't been in touch with me. She said she was depressed and quitting her job. I heard she was going to this place up in the mountains and to work at a bathhouse. She isn't answering the call, but 
Maybe she's busy. I'm worried for her. I should check up on her. I'm going to her place for a night, and I'll talk to her then. Okay, so maybe we were meant to die then. Oh, this is Erina Akamura. So this is a new character, this is her sister now. Uh, and Meho says, Hey, Erina. You okay? You don't look so good. I'm sure your sister's alright. I'm sure she's just struggling right now, that's all. Uh, Maho says, Erina, if you need any help, call me. Okay? Thanks, Maho. Good luck now. Your sister's waiting. Alright, cool. So I feel like that was maybe meant to happen with the ghost chasing us around. There might have been a way where we could have, like, avoided that happening. And she says I should go check on my sister's room. So first we check the sister's room by going upstairs. 203, this is the one. Looks like she's not home. Yeah, she's dead, I think. Oh god, it's this creepy old man. He says, oh, you're Marina's sister. Welcome, welcome. Hi, you said your sister works here? Oh yes, she does. However, she's on a trip with a few friends at the moment. She should be back in less than a week. Can I stay here and wait for her? Why, of course. Oh, but the room doesn't have any baths. It's a custom here for the residents to use the local bathhouse. Hmm. Do you want to work here while you wait for your sister? What do you say? You can stay here for free if you do. Yeah, she's just going to accept the job like that. Sure, sounds like fun if I can stay for free. Wonderful. Let's get started today then, shall we? And don't worry about not knowing what to do. It isn't difficult to run a bathhouse. Alright. Oh my god, I walked so close to him. Look at the size of his face. Chill, bro. Um, Do I open... Oh, I've got 205. Okay. Wait, 205. We're going to find out what all the hair was about then. Because remember the thing was on the other side of a wall? So enter 205. Let's have a look. So it would have been here. Yeah, look, there's a hole here. Maybe the ghost of our sister's taken over now and will be in the other apartment. And her hair will start, like, growing through the hole. Right, let's put the bag down. So we've unpacked. And now it's time to go and work at the bathhouse, just like our sister before us. But the problem is, we know that uh, Marina met a sticky end. So... Yeah, hopefully we don't meet the same fate. I wonder if we can go and see the monk again. Oh, he's gone now. Let's have a look. Can we get into here? What's this? Nothing. Trash area. The doll's gone. Huh. Right, let's just go to work then, I guess. Okay, so today we've got to wash the towels and get more wood for the boiler. So we're going to have to go in the boiler room today. Oh, and it's the weird guy with a hat that's on the wanted poster. He just wants a towel. Here you go, man. We've got five yen. Put money in there. Oh, we can't put the money in there. Wait. This isn't even a, a coin. It's like a weird... What is this? Five yen. Wait, is that what five yen actually looks like with a hole in it? I've never actually been to Japan. I think this is set in Japan, right? Um... So, I don't know. For someone here, though, they want a towel. Okay. Here's your towel. Enjoy. It's fluffy and fresh. Wait, what happened? Did she just transform before our eyes? Wait, Mena. That's our sister, I think. Sis? Is that you? She's just gone. Okay, can we uh, go and check up on our sister? Hopefully, she's not going to try and kill us. So it's Mayna. Oh, here she is. Is this Mayna? No, this is uh, Tsunami. What is this? The bath is cold. This isn't the cold bath, is it? Did you see my sister? What? I'm the only one here. And I don't care about your damn sister. All right, calm down. I just want to take a nice hot bath here. Can't believe it. I paid for this, you know. You didn't pay that much to use it, so just chill. Sorry, the boiler system isn't working at the moment. Oh, we'll go and fix it then. And I'll be waiting in the sauna room until then. Yeah, you go and wait in there. Hopefully you uh, 
sweat until you pass out. No one in the toilet? Oh wait, who's this? Oh, it's Matsuno, the old guy again. You don't have much time. You shouldn't be here. Alright, what do you mean by that? He's gone now. But what is that over here? It's the monkey again. Oh no, it's a crow. What's the crow got? Let me, let me get that. Give me that. Give me that. What do I do to get that from the crow? So what do we do? Oh, here we go, firewood. Place the firewood in here. That's not enough. Need more woods. Okay. So where do we get more wood from? Unwashed towels. Right, what do we do with the unwashed towels? Do we need to sort them out as well? Oh, look. Apartment key 203, that's our sister's key. It was in here. It was in the, uh, the lady's uh, bathroom. So now, let's take that and see if we can get into the apartment. I also want to see if we can, um, as we have a coin in our possession now, if we can take it to this little box over here. Let's see if we can put it in finally. Throw in the coin. Yes, look, we can. It's an Omakuji box. Pull. Okay, what's it going to give us? Got a piece of... What is that? Piece of newspaper? Yeah, newspaper piece A. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Don't know what that does. Let's take the apartment key and go and see if we can get into our sister's apartment. Figure out what's happening there. 202, 203, here we go. Enter the apartment, yes. I'm kind of scared of what we're going to find on the other side of this door. What the hell? What the heck? We've got another newspaper piece. A Japanese doll. I don't know if we should have taken that. The sweet potato. So we've picked up all the stuff from our sister. Check underneath the tatami. I guess so. I don't know. Wait, what? I thought it was a person. I can hear footsteps. We've got a note here. Why do they hate me so much? Everyone is talking behind my back, ignoring me whenever I speak to them. What did I even do to them? Everything in my life has gone downhill until I met him at the temple. He cared for me. He loves me. He said we need to keep this relationship a secret. Why keep it a secret? All I want is for him to stay close to me. I'm happy as long as I can be with him. Wait, are we talking about the monk here? Is the monk the real culprit? And that's Yoko's diary. When we've got another piece of newspaper, we can now read it. A woman in her 20s went missing from a public bathhouse. An unemployed woman, Yoko Inabuko, 29, so that's a woman from the radio, who went out alone to a public bathhouse, was reported to the police by a neighbour that she hasn't been home. The police searched for her since the morning of January 10th, but did not find her. Something is written on the back. In... the As he? I don't know what that means, guys. I haven't got time to decipher it right now. But there we go. That's Yoko's diary and the newspaper now. Can we pull the hair? Oh, the hair's attached to the person under here now. Who's dead, I think. And that's all crossed out now with hair. That's very strange. Let's go. Let's leave. So I don't know if we need to do anything else now, or if we just need to go back and sort the firewood out to solve that puzzle, you know? Right, so we've left the apartment now. We can put that horrible sight behind us. And we've got a bunch of stuff. We've got this doll. I don't know if we need the doll in our possession. I have a feeling like it may be best to cast this away in the trash again. I'm going to try throwing this potato thing at this crow to get our key card. Hey, wait. It actually worked. Or did we just feed him the potato? I don't know. I thought we were going to chuck it like and like hit the crow with the potato. Yeah, we've got something. What is this? Wait, what is that? Shoe locker key. Oh, okay. Nice. Can I dump you in the trash again? Sorry about that. We did that. Wait, what is this? Oh, firewood. Hey, we need firewood. So 
I'm going to take some. Wait, actually, let's take it all. We might need it all. Right, so we've now got the locker key, so we can go back to the bathhouse and access the locker that was previously locked. I didn't even know there was a locker that was locked before, but I guess there was. Right, let's have a look. Oh, here we go. There we go. Trash place key. Ah, <gasps> oh, we can get into here now. It's all coming together. Nice. And now we've got a drainage tube. So we can now drain the bath in the basement. It's actually coming together nicely. We might actually get a good ending yet. I don't know. Alright, let's have a look. Let's see if we can do this. We'll power it up. Let's have a look. Wait, what the heck has happened? Oh! Wait, can I put the towels in that I picked up? Put them in here, maybe? Yep. That worked. Our towels have been cleanly pressed, I guess. Um, oh, tongs. Wait, what are we going to do with the tongs? Okay, let's put the wood into here then. There we go. The heating system is now working. I should go and tell the lady. Yeah, it's crackling away nicely. Wait, is there anything in there that we can use the tongs on, maybe? No. I really want to know what we can use these tongs for. Right, we'll go back to that horrible lady then and tell her that her precious water is now heated. And now, we'll speak to this woman. Sis! Oh, her sister's back. I was looking for you. And Mayna just runs off. Wait! Do we just go outside? Is she on the street? Works done take- oh, works done take a bath. Oh, she's just gone. Okay, so we go back in and we take a bath, I guess. Right. She says works done take a bath, so we take our shower. It's weird, it says take a bath, but we, you know, we have a shower, so... I don't know, I always class them as different things. Oh my god, what the heck is that? It's the ghost thing. It's back. Wait, we've got a countdown. Okay. What are we meant to do? We've got to figure out what we need to do. Wait, what is this? Bath stall. Oh wait, do we have to just do all the chores around the bathhouse? I think so. Wait, let me just walk around and see what we actually have to do. Oh, I can't go through there. What the heck? Where did I even go? Okay. Guys, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, I need to- I think I need to, like, put all the stuff out like it is here. Maybe on the other side, because look, we've got all the different items. So, alright. Let's do this. We haven't got time to, like, faff about. So we need to put, I think, uh, that there. And... I think the bath still goes there. We're running out of time here. Rubber duck? Does the rubber duck go in the water? Yeah, the rubber duck probably goes in the water, right? Alright, guys, we need a bottle of conditioner by the, the first mirror over here. We need this bottle to be here. And we need the bath stool to be here, I think. I don't know what else to do. We're, we're gonna run out of time. That goes there. And I think we need to take that out and put it in the... No! Guys, I think we got it wrong. We got killed. I didn't do it in time. I think we got the bad ending. Run to the apartment. Oh my god, okay. Oh wait. We have to shake it. Go, 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 go. Alright. Just tear through the hair. So we've got to run to the apartment now. Um, do we need the key out? 205? I'm hoping it's 205 that we need to run to. Or is it 203? 203, let's go in. Oh, it, it's not 203. 205, enter apartment, yes. I just ran inside, guys. 
I don't know if that was the right thing to do. I feel like maybe it wasn't, as we saw the other person dead in apartment 203, but who knows? I didn't match up the things correctly, so I didn't get the right ending. Oh my god, she's come in. Okay, I think we're dead. Okay, that's freaky. Yeah, we died. I knew that was coming, but it didn't jump scare me. Because I knew that was going to happen. So we've been claimed once again by the entity, by this ghost of this woman that died, I think. And obviously the landlord's in on it. He knows what's going on. I kind of want to see if we can get the good ending, though. So I don't know if we can replay from when it's saved and maybe get the good ending. Because that would be kind of useful. Like, what's happening now? We've just been dragged. We've been put into the bathhouse. Yeah, we're going to be sunk under the water a bit, aren't we? We're going to be the next body in the water, haunting the bathhouse. Man, this is going on for some time, you know? Oh, no, we're being burned. We're being cooked so that the remains disappear. Wow. Oh. This is so weird. What, like, who was that? Oh, we're being reborn. Is this, like, the sister coming back now? Or is this, uh... Or is this Mayna? I think that's her name. The, the original person we're playing as. That guy's in trouble now. Yep. What the heck is even going on? I'm so confused, like, it seems like we've been brought back. I don't know if this is like a good or a bad ending, I assume this must be the bad ending, right? It's incredibly weird. Oh guys, we just got the credits. So yeah, that was the end. My game like kind of started crashing. I have no idea why, but something went wrong. I think uh, I've missed half the credits. It, it was just glitching out. Uh, but that's the end of the game. It is buggy, this game at the moment. They need to patch it up because I had quite a few bugs as I was going through it. But I think we probably got like the bad ending there. And I think if we had arranged stuff correctly in the bathhouse, which is really, really hard to like get right. Um, I think if we'd done that, we maybe would have got a good ending. If I can go back to the last checkpoint and try again, I might try and get either good ending in a minute. Uh, so let's just have a look. Alright guys, so this time I'm going to try and um, do things a little differently. I'm actually going to check around, see if we've missed any secrets. Uh, just in case we have, you know, just have a look around, see if we've missed anything. Ooh, look, there's something in, this, there's something in the boiler here. We didn't search this last time. I think I found something. <gasps> we got a key. What's it a key for though? For this door? It's all taped up. Exit the boiler room. Yes, we can get through the door. Okay, so this is different. This is different. Enter the hatch. Yes. Man, I don't know if we should do this. But I'm going to enter the hatch. What the heck? It's so dark down here. What the hell? All right, let's go. Crouch. Oh, man, we're really confined here. This is like a claustrophobic's worst nightmare. And I have a bit of claustrophobia, I must say. What is that? It's like a chain, okay? We've got notes from the monk. Make her fall in love with you. Make her pregnant. Kill her before she gives birth to a child. She had a boy. I thought I killed her before she gave birth. Kill her son. Hold off. Lock for women in the bathhouse. Trick her into sacrificing a woman of her choice. Sacrifice the first one. Sacrifice the second one. Sacrifice the third. So we're the third victims. So this is all like a plan set up by the monk. Maybe to appease his god. Like some kind of demon that he worships. We've got bolt cutters. Okay. And the summoning of you boom. Sacrifice a human chosen by the cursed deceased. Then you will be released. However, 
it must be the blood of three women. Ah, so when we died, we were the third victim, yeah, and it summoned the demon. And then we got the landlord's diary. Ah, so this is the landlord. And he says, I'm scared. I don't want to die. If I hadn't helped the monk with, she had a beautiful face. He should have let her live. Did he say I'm cursed? It's his fault. He said the curse would kill me if I didn't bring a woman to work here. I don't know if it's true, but it's pretty tough out there in the countryside, and I don't want to die. I'll think of a better way. So the monk tricked or forced, it seems, a landlord into helping him. Right. Is there anything over here? It doesn't look like it. What the heck? Sounded like... Oh my god, what... What the heck? What the heck is that? It's like a woman, look. She's chained up. Wait, can we cut the chain? Do we cut the chain? Look at her. She's just been chained down here for ages. I'm going to set you free. Please don't kill me, you know? Right, she's freed. Um, Do I leave you here now? I guess I just leave you. Just chill out and don't kill me, right? Right, let's go. We're getting out of here now, guys. I'm going to go and try and do the ending sequence again now. Because uh, I think I've done everything I can. So, yeah, let's head back inside and see if we can trigger a different ending this time. Maybe a good ending. We've just set someone free. And I feel like that's maybe one of the um, sacrifices, you know, from the monk. So perhaps, you know, we'll get a better ending this time. Let's turn on the water. There's the face. The ghost is out to get us. Run to the apartment. Oh, we don't get another chance um, to try and succeed at this. That's kind of annoying. Oh, well. I guess we just have to run. Kind of scared. Oh, look, she's crawling towards us. Let's go. Maybe we'll get the bad ending again then. I don't know. But we have at least unchained a person. So you'd hope that we, uh, we get a different ending. I don't know. Right, we're in. Let's see what happens. Please give us a good ending. She's come in. This is the same so far. Oh, she went away that time. No, that was the same. We got got again. I think we've got the bad ending again. I think we have to maybe play through the whole chapter again to try and get the good ending. So... Oh, this is, this is different. I think we've got a different ending, yeah. Guys, I think we might have got a good ending this time. This is a bit different. They burned this time, look. The two guys that were trying to put us in the furnace have burned. Yeah, we've got a different ending. Hopefully this is a good one. And we've got the remains of somebody on the street outside now. I don't know if that's the remains of a girl, maybe? But look, the evil is being vanquished from the bathhouse. I guess that's the demon's, like, um, hold over the bathhouse because we freed the person in the basement. Um, I'm not entirely sure. There's that person in the raincoat again, the old man. I can't remember his name. When I woke up, I was lying in a hospital bed. Beside me were the hospital doctor and a police officer. The doctor said, you have a full body fracture. Please tell me what happened. I was apparently taken to the hospital in an ambulance. I immediately understood the situation and told the policeman everything that had happened. And that's repeated twice for some reason. The police looked troubled and said, no one should be living in that village. There should be no one in that village. I told the policeman, what? The people I met, what happened to them? I tried to clear my confused head. Before I passed out, I think I saw an old lady walking toward me. 
I wonder if she was the one who called the ambulance. If it had not been for her, I would have been engulfed in flames. No, I would have died before she even arrived, because those two were trying to kill me. They were trying to kill me. The monk and the landlord. They must have wanted to sacrifice me to the ghost. It was the man in the basement who burned them. It was the man in the basement. Who was that man? Could it be? The man disappeared right in front of me, and I have no idea where he went. Is the ghost Yoko? I'm sure it must be. Poor thing. Why did I go to that place? How could I have gone to that place when there was nothing there? What did I have to do there? Why was I working in a public bathhouse? What was the reason? I can't remember. Why? Why did I... Did I leave something important there? Who's Mena? It's meant to be your sister, right? That is very strange. Is that the good ending? You got the good ending, yay! We got it, nice! So there we go guys, that was the good ending. We've now got both endings. And that... is the bathhouse. So there we go. I actually had to do an update after the bad ending because the game was like really glitchy but they've just released an update for it so we managed to get the good ending as well. That was basically just by luck because I found that key when I was like researching through some of the rooms and I think that's what led us to it. I didn't seem to like match up the things correctly, uh, I don't think, in the bathhouse but that didn't seem to factor into any of the endings because we've got the good and the bad ending unless there's like a third ending. Either way, this has been my playthrough of the bathhouse. I don't think I'm going to play through any more of this game. I've been playing for like two and a half hours now to get all of this done for you and I'm going to edit this down into the shortest video possible so that it's not like super long. With that said, I hope you've enjoyed it. I thought this was quite a fun game. It was a bit glitchy and sometimes confusing what you meant to do but I think Sometimes Chiller's Art games are a bit like that, but it definitely had a few scares and a good atmosphere about it and the usual quirkiness that this developer brings to their games, so I did enjoy it. It's available now on Steam, I'll leave a link below as always if you want to check it out for yourselves. And with that said guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave me a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more horror related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next video.